Season 1 is coming to a close, and with a ton of huge changes coming, are you ready for Season 2 and beyond? Today, we'll try to help you answer that question as we're going to take a look ahead at what's to come, and we'll discuss some of the changes they have made to the game thus far, and what we think about those changes and what we'd like to see them implement in the future. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off here. Season 1 is closing out with some double XP weekends, so if you still have to finish up your battle pass, or would like to finish leveling up your current guns before the new ones come out in Season 2, now is the time to hop in. Especially with the Rockefeller and Arena 24-7 playlist to take advantage of fast-paced small maps really fly through those levels. And don't forget the double XP tokens are stackable with the double XP weekends for times 4 boost should have some tokens from the daily login rewards that they have going on for the month of September from the 9th to the 24th. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest doing that now so you can stay up to date with all the latest ads in the game as I try and cover all the updates and patches in my videos, so stay tuned. If you want to help spread the updates and get more people interested in playing X Defiant again, smash that like button so the algorithm will pick this video up and share it with the larger community. Now, for what you've all been waiting for, Season 2 is bringing a lot to the table. Admittedly, following some leakers, Season 3 looks to be the make or break season for this game. But Season 2 really paves the way as they will finally be adding BOMB to the game, which is X Defiant's Search and Destroy game mode. Fans have been begging for this mode since launch, and it has taken the devs a ton of effort to finish up and bring in. They build everything from this game from scratch, according to the devs. The first FBS game to be built on this engine. In addition to the game mode, they will bring three new weapons earnable through the battle pass, which you can almost buy with the daily login rewards, so you should be saving those up. Now, if you don't complete the battle pass and unlock those weapons in time, you will be able to unlock them later for free through challenges. That holds true for every season. So if you did not have a chance to unlock the Season 1 guns, i.e. the L115 Sniper, the LVOAC, and the Sawed Off Shotgun, you will have an opportunity to unlock these starting in October. There will also again be three new maps, one per month in Season 1, and they'll be mixed between the regular maps and the linear maps again. Also we can't forget about the new faction, the Highway Mech. If you bought the Founders Pack at launch, they'll be available to you on day one. However, if you haven't been able to do that, you'll be able to unlock them by earning a set amount of XP the same way you were able to with the Dead Sec and the GS Commando. You just gotta remember to select the challenge once it's activated. There have been tons of changes to weapon and movement balancing, from sniper flinch to jump strafing, and the dev team is still currently active working on it. Keep it fun and challenging. They are continuing their work in Season 2, as Mark Rubin has already posted to his X account that they will be buffing the Sniper Flinch after nerfing it too much in the last update, as well as they will finally, FINALLY be nerfing the Phantom, dropping them from the 120 hit points to the 115, so it might not seem like a huge drop, but when you see that they're usually 1 to 4 HP after every death, that may be the difference maker and start allowing you to win those battles again. These changes won't be available right off the jump of Season 2, but they'll be coming in the early patch, so just stay tuned and I'll try to keep you updated once that hits. And also, in an effort to get players to play the objective as they intended, they'll be linking the weapon XP to the objectives. In other words, if you play the objective, you'll weapon level up your weapon faster. This should be a welcome addition to those that want the wins, and maybe aren't the kind of players that can drop 50 plus kills on the regular. So drop me a comment below if you think this is a win or a giant loss. The last major update has been teased through official sources as a spider -Man. They will be removing the face hug feature for a simpler feature where the spider will not follow you around and emit like a small EMP radius from what I've heard. That should slow you down and make fighting harder, but not be as annoying as the spider jumping on your face and sometimes you can shoot it off, sometimes you can't. If your teammates just run right past you, you're just a sitting target. So this will give you a chance to fight, but still make it extremely difficult and give the spider bot the advantage. 
Overall, changes the devs made to the game been pretty solid. They've seemed to be well received within the community for the most part. There are a few dubs, like when they nerfed the sniper punch a little too much in the last one, now that thing just jumps straight to the sky as soon as you get hit, so if you aren't a pro sniper, they're almost impossible to use. So they're going to bring that back down, make it a little easier for the casual to use the snipers again, but they will still be a lot more difficult than just click and delete. They also waited too long to nerf the phantoms. I know that just pissed off a ton of people, and there's so many people that quit because they're tired of seeing phantoms and fire guys in every single match and that seemed to be all anybody used so that should be going down you should see some more balance but the fandoms are still going to be pretty strong so you're still going to see plenty of them and let's not lie the spider bot as a whole is kind of a dud for the first couple seasons here playing the last couple weeks though the game feels much better everything feels way more consistent netcode does still have issues but it's been better as they keep working on it keep improving it they're still continuously working on it. They haven't stopped. So they should hopefully be bringing more and more consistency with that as we keep moving ahead in the seasons here. With all that being said, we look ahead at what's to come. And if we look at the calendar, we see some holidays coming up like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And we'll finally be getting some of the much needed events and limited time modes thanks to those help players that have otherwise started to leave the game because they got bored there would be more to offer more to bring them in so we should hopefully be seeing player numbers rise a little bit again these modes plus the changes to the level systems they're bringing in prestige for weapons they're bringing in prestige for your main levels hopefully there's going to just be a ton of stuff to be grinding here as we keep moving forward in the future and that is going to be absolutely huge it is a very pivotal point for the survival of this game. A lot of people fear that it is on its last leg. Season 3 seems to be the one that, if they clutch, that is going to save the game. If they don't, we may just end up losing this game forever. I really hope we don't. There still is a good amount of players, and the game is so much fun. The movement crushes the movement of other games right now, so I hope to see it stay. As far as the Season 2 Weapon Masteries, they are only currently adding into the mix and that will be at level 500 so I know that's gonna be a bummer for people but that should hopefully be showing that these other weapon procedures should be coming up soon and that's honestly where I would like to see the biggest change I would rather than just strictly weapon leveling I would like to see the devs do some more and we'll get into that in a little bit but there are so many opportunities for player and weapon skins other than just leveling it up or purchasing so we'll see what we can do but right now it's only ver purchasing you gotta level up to 100 200 300 400 500 i'd like to see them implement challenges similar to what you see in cod right headshots certain amount of kills with the x weapon that type of stuff that would all be huge Ubisoft Connect already offers up coins, XP tokens, stuff like that whenever you complete weekly challenges. So I'd like to see them do more with the skins as well. Add that in. Start adding in more stuff. Let me know what you guys would like to see the team add or change by dropping a comment below. So tell me what you think they need to do to keep the game alive. Personally, I'm excited for the future of this game. I'm going to continue to play it, I'm going to continue to make videos, I'm going to continue to try to keep you guys up to date with all the latest updates and patch news. So if you haven't hit that follow button like I told you to earlier, go ahead and pop it now, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.